it's been a while and this video is certainly overdue and I say it's overdue because it's an issue that has been driving me up the wall for the last couple months and because of that I feel like I need to finally say what I need to say about it um, and get it out there on my channel because it's just been eating at me and bothering me and today was kind of like the final it day where I just was like you know what that's it I'm done I'm not gonna sit here in the sidelines and say nothing anymore I'm not going to just let it go because it's a problem and it's affecting our community and honestly guys it needs to stop and that is witch shaming and I mean I have to tell you how freaking frustrating it is for me and I, I'm gonna tell you this is probably gonna end up being a rant video if you've watched any of my other videos you know I can kinda get passionate and I can go on for rants forever and I try to edit that out but today I'm not going to I'm just gonna be out there I'm gonna be raw I'm gonna be honest and it, we're just gonna have to go with it because you know the ones that are out there and they are shaming others or they're causing the turmoil that I keep seeing they're causing drama they're causing dissension you know they're not gonna sit down and quit anytime soon unless we all actively do something about it and I, I hate to point to any one group as being main suspects as you will but really it seems to be especially on the Tumblr communities, on the internet blogs, that there's this kind of disconnect with understanding that everyone has different paths and that one thing might be right for somebody else, it's not right for someone else who's practicing a totally different way. And like I said, I don't want to say anything against anybody, but the reality is not all witches are Wiccan. And not all Wiccans are witches. Therefore, not everyone is going to follow the same creed, and this really seems to fall to the threefold law, which is do whatever you want as long as it harms no one else. And there seems to be this post or posts or a couple people, especially on Tumblr blogs, that have been perpetuating this idea to newbie witches that curses are bad, that you cannot do them if you're a real witch, and that it doesn't follow along with what Wiccans do. And the thing is, and I went off on somebody, and I apologize to that person online, but I really went off on them because it scares me that we might be harassing newbie witches into thinking that they can't do something that they are certainly capable of. And in the fact that, you know, it doesn't agree with what someone else's beliefs are. And it's wrong. You know, it's there's nothing in nature that says you cannot curse somebody else. I personally don't curse, but I support everyone's right to. And like I said, it's only really a Wiccan ideology that curses are forbidden or that harming someone else is is forbidden in any sort of way. Like I said, not all witches are Wiccan. And a couple of these fine witches and Wiccans did not seem to want to understand this. <laughs> or the fact that it could be completely horrible and harmful not only to newbies but to those who weren't necessarily aware of this but have been practicing right along and then go wait a minute I'm doing it all wrong when really it's not true you know you have every right to do what you want to do in your own craft and no one has the right to tell you what to do that only changes if you subscribe to a certain groups views like if you are Wiccan then you probably should um, you might even have um, a reason to follow the Wiccan beliefs because you like that there is no evil in the sense of there's no evil curses out there, there's no black magic out there that you subscribe to. And that's okay, that is certainly okay, but you have absolutely no right to tell someone who isn't Wiccan what they can and cannot do. And I know this is probably going to draw a backlash, and I know this is probably going to maybe add to the problems that are going on out there but I still need to say it and I had the switch that I had before looked up to and she just basically trashed me all over my internet blog and I was like really this is ridiculous you know I've been a practicing witch for 10 years I'm not Wiccan you don't need to tell me what I can and cannot do you know you don't have any right to tell me you know, I don't subscribe to your beliefs. I'm not part of your coven. I have nothing to do with you, but you have to sit here and pander to this controlling 
really negative view of the balance of the universe itself. And I mean, like I said, I'm not trying to bash anyone. I'm not going to give any specifics about any people that this has happened with. I'm not going to do any of that. But I want to remind everyone how damaging it can be um, to someone's path or to their beliefs or even to ones who are new who are trying to figure out what they believe, who are, you know, experimenting, who maybe really don't want to curse but they tried it once and that led them to not want to or who never really thought about it at all but now kind of might be afraid to try something um, because we, we really are a community that should be much more closely knit and we seem to be really not allowing that to happen and there are other things that people are going off on and it's not just this um, I've noticed that there's shaming to there, there's this very um, cisgender um, white privilege problem going on that I've also noticed in in our society, and it's not just our personal belief systems that we might have. It's not just in the witch community. It's not just in the pagan community, but it's everywhere. But it's starting to trickle down, and I'm noticing that there that our our own group of people, which is very diverse should be the one to say that welcomes all walks of life, that welcome all personalities, all genders, all love, all, all of that. But there's a lot of this, you know, you're not a real witch because A, B, C, D. You know, I, I don't like gay people, so they're not welcome around me. But I'm a witch, so I technically should know better. You know, and, and I think it's just society, you know, it's it's really starting to trickle down into who we are, um, but if you're truly a pagan or you're truly a witch, I feel that your number one goal should be acceptance of everything. You know, it should be open-mindedness, and there's so much closed-minded people going on in the internet and and yelling at people and, and saying these horrible posts that are, are just really troubling to me, and I, I hate to see this, um, and I see it on YouTube too. You know, guys, you guys make comments that are probably best left unsaid. Um, and I know I probably have too. And I know that this is, you know, the internet is really an open place for us to share our opinions and our passions, our beliefs and all of that. But, you know, constantly going against everybody, you know, fighting this pointless war against differences, it's just starting to get, you know, it's wearing on me. And... With everything that's going on in the world right now, like whether or not someone does a certain thing in their practice or whether or not they follow a dead religion or with their heathens or not, that was the other thing. I'm like, what makes a heathen? I'm like, so you are telling me that a dead religion cannot be subscribed to, even though it's technically never died, it was completely whitewashed and destroyed by other religions, aka Christianity, and no one's allowed to follow that? And yet, you are following the Greek pantheon. And so you have a problem with someone following, like, a Celtic or Nordic or even a Native American religion, even though they're a person of color and more likely have better, not to say better, but more reason to, but they're wrong in your eyes? I don't think so, guys. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't fly with me. Um, and I did see that today. That was that along with the cursing problem that I keep seeing this issue come up was this witch online who has every right to her own religion, has every right to her own beliefs, has every right to all of that, um, brought up this huge issue with another blog that I follow. And basically her thing was, you don't look Native American, so you can't have a Native American religion. And she went off on her and she it, it, it kind of bothered me to see this fighting going on in the first place but she had every right to defend herself and say well no I am part Native American I'm following belief system that my grandparents gave me who were truly completely Native American and I probably know more about it than you ever would and this girl's like I don't care you're American now you can't do that it's wrong you know it's a dead religion it's been it's not even a real one and I was like oh my god so then you go back and you look and you see that, you know, they're following an even more dead religion, <laughs> which, you know, I, I 
do, I guess, as well. But I would never walk up to someone and say, you don't look Native American enough. Therefore, I don't think you can follow their religion. It's like, well, you don't look Greek. I know you're not Greek. You're white. And you're American. You don't live in the Stone Age. You don't live in the Bronze Age. You aren't living back in Greece in like 200 BC. So you don't get to be Greek. You don't get to be Greek or Roman. You don't get to be any of that. You know, that's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's not, it shouldn't even be an issue, but it, it seems to be, seems to be an issue, guys. And like I said, I just wanted to get this out off my chest because it's been so irritating. And, you know, let me know what you guys think. I don't hear from you much, guys. I don't hear from you much, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. I'd love to hear about issues that you think need to be addressed. I mean, we need to start a discussion, I think. I think... Um, the only way to combat these issues is to get them out in the open and actually address them. So thanks for bearing with me if you watch this. Um, hopefully I'll be back on to normal video schedule and I've got some ideas in the works. I've got videos already made that just not uploaded that I just have to edit and you know life has been crazy. I was on vacation for two weeks. Um, hopefully this weekend I will get to them, have them uploaded and watchable for you guys, but no promises. You know how I am. But love you guys. I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks a lot.